Okay, let's get cracking. Dun, 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 Just a simple pawn push. Let's see if we can get castled. At least this player's taking the time with the moves. Not really sure what that is, but I think they're probably looking to come down here. Oh, my mouse is fixed, by the way. <laughs> okay, so thankfully I can start messing about with my arrows a little bit. Attack through here. Here. I think I'm going to be moving the bishop anyway because it's going to be I need to castle. We come here, queen comes down, knight comes up, bishop takes. Let's just x ray through. Not sure if this uh, microphone's working too tough. Let's have a look. Yeah, the queen comes down. That's what we said, didn't it? So I'm going to bring the knight up and just defend. So in my head, I'm thinking at least I've got my pieces developed out. He's kind of weakened his king side. He's weakened his queen side. So there's quite a lot of stuff that can actually happen here. Could take with a check on the king. I'm just going to take with a check on the king. Keep it simple. And bishop can't come anywhere up here. Just bring it down. Oh, now they're moving fast. So hopefully we can make them pay for that. Just nice and simple. So they were work moving kind of nice and steady and slow, but once they start moving quick, I definitely I lose the will to live for them because they're definitely not finding the best positions. I don't care how good they are. Because in reality, if you have a look at the situation, this is what I'm talking, I'm delaying that aspect, is this bishop doesn't have any protection on it. So the speed at which they push the pawns down, they just got a little bit too fast for themselves, which is very disappointing because they did, in the early part, take the time, look like they were going to be thinking about the moves, but now they've just given up a piece. And the queen can sit in front of the um, king if need be. Bishop comes and protects, but then we take this pawn off here with a check and we'll probably win this um, rook here. So that all makes... I'm just delaying it because I'm, I'm savouring the moment, but at the same token, I don't want to make the same mistake that the opponent's making by actually moving too fast. That looks pretty obvious to me. Either the king moves so that he doesn't get another check on and lose his rook, but they don't do that and they move quick. So as we've mentioned, we can swing across and go and get the rook. So this is a massive snowball effect.
and we didn't do anything magical or mysterious in there the opponent gave us that position got to be careful don't want to trap my queen but i don't think there's any trap position here his queen's on the other side of the board his pieces are all a little bit jammed up got a two on one with the knight on this situation here but the my king at the minute hasn't got castled so castling with the rook actually coming on here so that puts a three on one would look okay so if we just castle so then we've got like a three on one situation with the knight and the queen so as usual this is not something we've created the opponent has given us this position just from that momentary lapse in speed over position which again i think is a bit of a shame it's quite a lot of the players we do play especially in the longer play games you can tell that they have knowledge of the game and they're quite strong but they're giving to this speed aspect I'm not sure this, I think they're probably going, oh, okay, he's just giving up pieces now. He's giving up pieces, but I don't really want to make any space around my king, because if we take, then his queen takes, he's putting checks on my king. Um, we could look to exchange off. Could attack the king. Where does he go? Hides. Maybe comes back here again. If we did do this, he does have a momentary little bit of happiness, doesn't he? Because he can take, and this pawn can't take that. Hmm, interesting. I think I just need to keep it simple, don't I? I do have a check here. Could actually move the knight as well. Just checks first. I'm trying to try look at my position here. Is he squishing me? He's not squishing me with his queen. Definitely not. My bishop can't get in the game. This knight can't get in the game. If we take this off, oh, they've resigned. Ah, that's what a long play game is for, you know, getting your calculations in. Okay. I suppose I'm going to have to jump on for another one. That was only nine minutes. Let's uh, see what we've got. White again. Ooh, 1930 something. We have just recently played a 2100 and we got a draw out of that game. But as I've mentioned before, if you just knock off 400 to 500 points, if you're looking at it in real terms, then you probably get the skill level of the person you're playing uh, more times out of 10. So let's. Let's not look at this player as being a 1900. Let's look at them as being a 1400. Yeah. So they're 1500 with a question mark on the rabbit. 1934 on there. So, yeah. So they're about 1400, let's say, for OTB. Because we're practicing OTB. Our competition is under 1500s. 
So it's easier to rest in my brain, you know, knowing that I'm playing potentially somebody who is 1400. I'm not playing a 1900 because playing over the board against a 1900, I'd get absolutely wiped out. So let's see how we go with this game. Could go for the simplified version. I ought normally go for the simplified version. I've been trying to practice on my secret account, um, just pushing up here and stuff like that, you know, doing stuff that you normally wouldn't do. But I'm going to go safe here. So, doing a little bit of preemptive stuff, showing off type thing. So, I'm quite comfortable and happy that they're doing that. So, it's almost like they're saying, oh, well, I know exactly what you're going to do. So, this is what I'm going to do. But does it improve their position? This is what the key thing that I'm looking for. Let's just push through the centre here. Because there's no magic that any chess player brings to the table. It's just mistakes that you bring to the table that they take advantage of. It's as simple as that. So I can talk up until this point because this is all pretty straightforward. Could look to get the bishop out. I'm actually just bringing it out and x-raying through to the king. Simple chess. Simple chess works for us so long as we know exactly what is actually happening in the game. As soon as they start putting pressure towards my king area, like with the 20, 2100, I'm just going to do rope it up and block off anything that they're attempting to do. Could move back, da -da 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 -da, then attack here. Yeah, he's obviously going to come back, we'll come here, then he's going to push down again. Um, simple. Direct moves from all pieces from the board strategically. Let's stick with the mantra and let's not get arty. Yep, yeah, so they're moving fast. It's like they're infuriated at playing a long play game. So I think I want to try and kind of turn it on its head and just really take my time over the moves. And hopefully they're just going to make a mistake because they're getting infuriated by actually playing a long play game. I mean, they signed up for it. They, they accepted the seek. Bearing in mind, in our heads, they're only a 1400. If you take 400, 500 off mine, I'm only a 1300. And that's my real life OTB rating. So they are 100 points above me in terms of that level. But they are nowhere made 1900. So we should be able to deal and cope with this. Okay, I think I've taken long enough. Let's set a castle. Yep, so just throwing out the moves. And just take our time again and focus. Could bring the bishop out, but it's obviously looking to stand here. Could bring the knight out, but then it's blocking this pawn. Could push the pawn just to be steady. I like just developing the bishop, I think. Then we've got space for the knight to come here if need be. Okay, nice and steady, nice and simple. I think that's what we're going to do. It's not saying it's winning, but I'm trying to stick with the mantra. The mantra basically, develop the pieces as best possible. Every piece has to have a rationale, a meaning. So this is out, it's attacking the knight. It's got an x-ray through to the queen. Feels okay to me. It's getting a piece out into the game. Now they're moving slow. Obviously, they're going to be wanting to maybe potentially put pressure here so that they can develop their own bishop. Ooh, okay, so it's almost copy copycatting. Okay, so we could bring the knight across, like we said. It's developing a piece. And if nothing happens here, then we can look to push onto this pawn to open up some space. Because this bishop's still jammed in at the moment. That's 
definitely like a 1400 trait it's not a 1900 trait and then again i think when we did like the um comparison between you know the traits of the 1900s and the 1400s we did say that 1900s can revert back to playing like 1400s in a sense because they don't castle you know or they delay the castling Hmm. Could take. Just don't really want this knight jumping here. You know, I'm going to take the knight. Because it's chomping at the bit to get to this spot and we'll never get it out of the way. So he's opened up space around his king. Could put a check on, just develops his bishop. Hmm. Could develop the knight, like we said, just keep it nice and steady. going to develop the knight with the idea potentially of attacking this pawn here like we said just stick with the basics basic calculation oh that's a big bishop move that's a big bishop move and he's left his king there so he's going to have to go back again So that's an obvious, I didn't need to spend much time over that. If we can win some tempo, it's going to bring the bishop back, obviously, because he wants to castle. Or oh, he's brought that bishop back, which um, I think is a little bit losing them tempo per se. But he has actually protected this pawn. So if we go here, then we've not got support. So we could potentially bring this, but I think he's just going to drop this pawn down. Hmm. Is there anything else? I'm chomping at the bit for this, but things have changed, so I need to really change my mental Rolodex now, don't I? I still think doing this. Uh, anything else? Night, night, night. I can come with the night here. Coming here, attacking the bishop. Then if the yeah, oh, that's an. I think that's too delayed, though, isn't it? Knight here, big castle. Knight comes here. Rook comes to protect the bishop. Rook comes to protect the bishop. Do do do. Hmm. I think that's too slow, isn't it? It's too slow. He castles. We push, he takes. Knight takes. I think that's too slow, but I'm going to go with it anyway and see what happens. It all depends what the opponent does. Yeah. So now they've got castle, but now we can, like I said, I want to just try this. I spotted this at the early part of the game. Just not saying it's any great shakes, but I think this is helping my position. I'll be probably totally wrong. He could just leave it though, couldn't he as well? Didn't have to take. <laughs> Oh, and they've taken. That's got to be a plus for me. Let's just take. I didn't think they'd take. 
speed does not impress me that's what I'm trying to say but now what do we do we don't have any of this 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 it's got some nice space a little bit of this a little bit of this can't go there okay so No, no, no. Don't think I like them apples. Up, up. No, I don't think I like that. Dun, 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 dun. Queen, 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 queen. This pawn doesn't have any protection, but it's easily defended, isn't it? I mean, the queen could come here. Bishop just defends, or the queen drops. Hmm. 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 Bishop takes. Rook takes. Let's attack this pawn. It's got no protection on. Just give them some something to think about, maybe. So we have got them thinking, so we slow them down a bit. It's attacking the knight, eh? So if we just bring the knight back around, come across or around and up. That's no good. There maybe. There. If they take, takes. Attack the bishop. Bishop takes. Pawn takes. Open up space around the old king, the room. Hmm. Don't think so. Gets rid of, let's get rid of them. Open space, open space, open space. Go there, he attacks. Come back around, come back. That's not going to happen though, is it? That is not going to happen, is it? I'm, I'm feeling it, but I don't think that's going to happen. I think we're going to end up... Okay, let's just give it a, give it a whirl. I think I need to get my pieces working together a little bit better. I, I think I've scattergunned it a bit. We can always come back if it's really bad. I suppose I don't mind at this moment because his queen's not going to get there, but his pawn will come here. But we do have time maybe to come across and protect once these are out of the way, maybe. And then I think I'll have to beat myself up if I do end up having to take here. Because I could have just brought this knight here attacking the bishop. He could have taken them. That might have been... Oh, he's going for clever britches. He's not come that far down that we can't go here. Mm-hmm, okay. He 
He's not gone too far down. I'm not going to block my way, am I? If I come and attack the bishop, let's it. Knights hunt the bishops. Don't want to overthink it too much. Try to stick with the mantra as best possible ish. Could sacrifice the rook. Obviously, I'm not going to. So it looks like we're coming back here. We're definitely going to be losing this. But the only pawn that can attack it is this. So we could jump here, couldn't we? Right, I better stop flashing the pieces or else I'll make a mistake. So a bit tense. Um, just like that 2100 game that we just played. Um, I would expect these to be high, hard games. I mean, in reality, played like a 1500-ish. In fact, let's say they probably were 1600 because they were 2100, weren't they? So if you take five off of that, that's like um, 16. So they, so they were like a 1600. And this one's um, like a 1400. So you'd expect some sort of toughness. It's coming for like a checkmate situation. It's coming for a cheapie. Coming for a cheapy, but obviously. Fourteen hundred is kicking in there, but once it dries up again, it's like what happened with the sixteen hundred that we played. The problem that we do have now is we can't come here. So if he does touch here, we have to come here. So that's not a big problem. It's well, at least we have somewhere to go with the knight. So now we're going to have to look at rope doping Well, coming back into ourselves now because he's starting to target the areas around the king. And I'm not sure what... I'm not sure what that was. That bishop move. The bishop was protecting this here. I'm not sure what that was, so we can just go here, can't we, with the rook? Yes? I think that looks pretty straightforward, isn't it? Am I missing something, bishop? Attacking the... Well done. So if we go here like that, take the pawn, then his bishop thinks it's clever coming here, putting the next rear through too, but then we can take his queen off the board as well. Yeah, okay, I think that's what's going to happen. Bit, bit of cleverness. But we don't have to take with the rook and take with the queen. And would be a pawn up. Phew, I was getting a little bit too fancy then, wasn't I? Because that aspect... One of her, it's just that it kind of keeps them in the game. So they're probably singing their praises that they've got the two bishops on the board because everybody goes, once you've got the two bishops, you can't lose type thing. Um, you have to have the right position in my head. This is what I'm thinking. It doesn't have to take. It can always just swing back. Does capture, so I think that's um doesn't need much thinking about there. Okay, so now he's moving fast again. So I'm gonna slow it down so that just to be an annoyance. We're now plus one. We could look to double up. Could come here supporting the pawn, pushing through onto the bishop, pushing through, pushing through, pushing through as best possible. Let's support the pawn because it is an isolated pawn all on its own, so it's probably going to need as much help as it can. It might not survive all the way through, but 
and the attempt might be good enough. I think there's going to be minor little disturbances going on now because for that brief moment, it looks like we have some, yeah, like attacking this pawn here and stuff, you know, to give me something to, oh, that's greedy munching at the wrong time. Again, look at this position. We've got an x-ray through to both of the bishops. Damn it. I seriously don't know why people play so fast. I'm trying to develop my over the board experience so that I can play a little bit better in the tournament coming up. Damn it. And that's not me doing anything special. It's just the person's giving me these damn positions. I wanted to practice pushing up, supporting, getting a bit of grief from the bishops and working the rooks and all that type of stuff. You know, I, I want those testing games. Like the tw that 2157 that we played um, yesterday. Um, 1600. But um, yeah, that, that was a tough game. That was tough. You know, I, I, it got to the stage where I thought, well, it, it looks drawish to me. Are we going to play it out to a draw? Or shall I offer the draw? Uh, so I offered the draw and they accepted it. And the evaluation said it was a draw. And it's mostly draw all the way through the match. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do... Because I think they did like um, the request analysis thing afterwards. So I thought, well, okay, I might have to look at that and um, see where we could have gained further advantages. I felt comfortable it was a draw all the way through because we were playing... I'm talking now because this, this game is over, but maybe, maybe, maybe it's not. But yeah, this is, this is not good. This is what I'm saying, knock off 500 points off of this level. I mean, it's like 1400. It's too easy to get these high high numbers on here. People feel it's too egotistical. Oh, I'm a 1900, I'm a 2000 and all that rubbish. You should just improve the quality of your games. My gosh, I'm really annoyed. So we can practice pushing this, pushing it onto the bishop. So we're attacking a higher piece. Our king's got safety here. So only got the white square bishop that can challenge, but that would get challenged itself. Could take this pawn off. I'm going to push through the. I'm going to push this pawn. It's attacking a higher piece. Higher piece with a lesser piece. It's obviously going to attack our rook. I might be wrong. I might go somewhere else. If he goes there, he's blocking if it. Oh, 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 oh. We have a bit of excitement on aisle six. Ooh, okay, so if he does grab that, then he comes here, then that's like a checkmate, huh? Could bring this back here, defending. Knight's protecting the pawn. Bring this knight here, defending. And then bring this down, maybe. Do I need to do any of that? Do I need to do any of that? Just going to defend. Got to look at the blind spots now, haven't I? I didn't see that. I didn't see that. So I'm going to be quiet now. Because it is not over.
But I will say, as I'm going to keep on saying, if it helps anybody at all with the sort of mindset of playing online, um, if this was a real 1900 over the board player, I would not be in this state on the board at the moment. I'd be getting totally wiped out. So really do understand that most of the online ratings that you see and you compare yourself against, you're not actually playing the real deal. So feel comfortable in that knowledge and then that should help you to uh, push forward with less, what's the word now, bow down to the higher level where you're thinking, oh God, I'll never beat them. Uh, it is possible. Yeah, it's very few and far between. You're going to be playing like a genuine 2000 level player. Um, just knock off five, 400 to 500 points. You're, you're there or thereabouts. this king move so it looks like we're happy defending here here uh, each leg how can we get this bishop away do I, do I really need to be bothered about that let's just take this let's just take this is he going to try and work his way around the back I'm feeling that I don't need to worry so much really about that. Let's move it out of the way so that then there's no checks on him for my rook. So he wants to get my rook off the board. But again, I don't need to put too much thought into this. So we do have that covered. If he does take, the pawn can simply take, and we're still defending this here. It does take, so it's all basic stuff now. As we said, just taking with the pawn here. He's trying to get his rook to the back. So, like I said, he's moving to the side now. Moving to the side so that he can come down. I could move my rook down. Could move my rook down to defend. He comes down and attacks the pawn here. I could just be my rook here. And then obviously his bishop maybe can't actually do anything because he'll just get taken. It's a lot of dancing, isn't it? I could simply just push the pawn up. Or maybe to here. And then my king can just come here and never be bothered. I don't think I should do too much dancing. Rook is protecting here. I think this simple maneuver just pushing here. I think the reason why I'm wanting to push it here is to stop any shenanigans with this. I don't think there would have been a problem pushing it here. Not that you can get away with anything because I'm just maybe thinking if he does get rid of these I don't know, that's way overthinking because it's probably never going to happen. Oh, dude! They've resigned. Okay, that was a to me, that was a case of moving too fast at the very beginning and not really looking at um, the position as best possible for themselves and looking forward in a sense as to, well, where. Where am I landing my pieces? Are my pieces working together? And then looking for the quick and dirty tactic type thing. And then that phased out. And then there was no further support um, or working the pieces together. Um, we then regrouped and said, okay, let's block off any potential attacks. And then we brought our pieces 
towards our king area, protecting our king so our king didn't feel home alone. And yeah, that was a yeah, it's nice ish. I need I, I need to get I need to get more meat on the bones games. So I think I will go in. We've got twenty minutes left, so we may as well. We may as well jump in on another one and see how that one goes. Maybe I'll play as black this time. <sighs> oh, got somebody. Oh, question mark. A question mark with nothing. Whoa, 2261 bullet. <gasps> wow. That is amazing. Um, bullet rating over 17 games so they've played 17 bullet matches and they haven't got a question mark and it looks like they've totally thrashed everybody oh my days this is like this is a proper definitely secret grandmaster of some sort i don't even want to make a move <laughs> well we said we wanted a game but i said i don't, I don't really want to be blown out of the water Come on, lie chess. There's um, there's limits. There are limits. I'm just gonna play real slow. Then this bullet, bullet twenty, what? Twenty two sixty one. It's it's seventeen games. A lot of games. Seventeen games. Yeah, still quite good. Is that? And I don't think I could do that in bullet. Ooh. Well, I did say we were going to take this pawn because it keeps hovering around like a bad smell. So we know the makeup of this player. They are bullet. They have not. It doesn't look like they've played a long play game unless, of course, they played casual ones which aren't actually, they don't show up on the listings. So I've got to try and get on the nerves and just take my time with my moves. I do like this because of that, but is it too slow? Because if we jump out, then it can just drop and then we have to dance all over the place, don't we? Does that give them tempo to come with some funky rubbish? I'm going to go with that and try to stick with what I know and this funky bishop stuff. Oh, thank you. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. I'm scared to make a move. I am scared to make a move. Just bring it out. Obviously, he's got to take this because he's a pawn down. Oh, he must be practicing his long play now. He's, in, he's playing nice and slow. 22 bullet. What? 22 61. Whew. Okay. That was more like a kind of bullet move even though they took the time over the move that just feels a little bit bulletish it's gonna take yeah i won't beat you at bullet player but i'm, I'm gonna try and search for the position obviously i'm not going to win it because he's going to be super quick but I'm going to have to try position over speed. This is what we kind of try and say all the time, isn't it? 
I'm going to have to try and kind of prove it to myself against the 2261 bullet. <laughs> oh dear. So I need to slow myself down. Obviously the king comes back here. I'm just hoping that because they're such bullet type things, they're not used to positional play in a sense. They're just into um, quick movements that disturb the opponent's pieces and then they take advantage by um, just being fast. Not necessarily being good at chess, just being fast. That's what I'm hoping and praying for. King does move across. King does move across. We could elevate our pawn. We could attack the king, but we lose a bit of tempo. He drops. Bring the bishop back, attacking the square. going to attack and see what happens just really want to get castled so I'm not too fussed about the attack so long as um, we're giving them something to think about we've already disturbed the king okay so they've actually gone for the poor move which is what we said and I think bringing it to the position that we said gives us a bit of this type of situation even this actually. In fact, this is probably better because then it can swing across here. And then there's a fork and stuff going on. Oh dear. Oh dear. If that kicks off, wow, this is this is gonna be amazing. And yet again, in this particular game, not that we've won because we got thrown off with the last bishop move that the last player played. Um, but again, this is like showing that point of speed doesn't necessarily help you if you're not going to get use it and get those good positions. It's not saying we've won anything, but I'm feeling half decently good about the position at the minute. It can change just like that, obviously, because I've only got two pieces out. My king's not castled. I've got two pieces on the back and my rooks aren't linked up. So that's quite a lot of um, stuff to actually keep developing in the game. I think I'm just happy that I've weathered the storm, the initial storm from Mr. Bullet 2261. <laughs> okay, right. So they are taking their time. Now they're trying to improve their position. And we could still continue doing this manoeuvre, couldn't we? He might just simply just take the... But the bishop's going to be highly advanced up the board. And it's stopping the king. Well, the king can't castle anyway, can it? Hmm... Developing more pieces could attack his bishop, could attack the knight. Mm, could develop the knight, but he's a quick and dirty player, so he's just obviously looking to come here with this situation. But we do have 10 porter castle. Knight up, not attacking anything, bishop attacking, simple direct moves to remove pieces from the ball strategically. So let's just develop the bishop. Just try and keep with the mantra as best possible if we can. Just envisaging him just doing this, <laughs> just to try and come for this pawn. He does still have this pawn to be taken with his bishop. not doing that it's not doing that 
again if we jump here his bishop takes and then bishop sits here which is it looks okay but i don't think it'll last there too long i think the knight's just going to attack it you know, I suppose we could take the knight off the board so it's like just a, a massive take fest If we brought the bishop there, then we took the bishop if he takes, then won his rook. His rook then comes down, doesn't it? Can't necessarily get away with that because his rook will be there. Let's attack. It looks like it's making them feel a little bit uncomfortable at the moment. Does take okay so we, we have a quid pro quo situation do we take with the pawn or do we take with the knight i think taking with the knight gives us the option of taking the bishop or taking the rook so it looks like we're going to get the bishop for free unless of course he does some fancy bishop malarkey we take then his knight takes he's on our king and then we lose tempo that's probably what's going to happen but we'll see. Okay, so we've worked nicely up to this point. Against 2200, 2261. Bullet. Bullet. I mean, crikey. If you're that level up bullet, you your longer play game, in theory, should be stonking, shouldn't it? Okay, so we've actually potentially got the bishop, but we shall see. Let's not rush. We did save. Yeah, so if he had that tempo to do that, which he hasn't utilised, so we can just take the bishop for free. It looks like, yeah. And I must reiterate... We are not doing anything magical here. And I know when I'm doing my talking, I've mentioned before, sounds like I'm some sort of GM, whatever it is. I am not a GM. I am 1,308 uh, over the bot. Oh, not another one resigned. Now, that was really quite shocking, I must say. Um, and <laughs> I, don't, <laughs> I don't know what happened there in this one at all. Um Oh my life. I don't know what happened there. That's oh there must be some sort of something's flashed up. Yeah, they've got two is it finished? Two inaccuracies, two mistakes, two blunders. We've got two inaccuracies. Um there's nothing to write home about there. And yeah, that's just Oh my gosh. I am shocked at how that developed that game actually I, oh. so pushed up uh, so they pushed there we, grab, we said we're practicing taking that and we, we like the pawn pushing it so everything that we're doing is basic as far as I can see and we developed the knight through they're actually winning at the minute and then this move here this was a move that I thought that's a, a bullet move that's like a a quick action move there's no development of any of the other pieces they're attacking through the center nothing's they've got a knight there no other pieces are actually developed at all so how is that attack going to be supported without them actually losing the king's rights for castling so the capture and so then obviously we can take and then the king's lost its castling rights and that's a very basic position to be targeting, obviously looking to get the fork here. And then attacking the king because it's there. And bringing the bishop back, attacking the weak square, which is here. Did expect this bishop to be taking this pawn at some stage, really, but it, it didn't happen. So then the bishop's coming out. When the king is home alone, you'd think that they'd be wanting to protect the king as best possible. So yeah, that was a very simplified game, which again, 
Make, it's making me look good and I am not even this good at all in any way shape or form so this is the end of this session and there's two weeks to go for the actual over the board tournament and maybe just um, doing my practice sessions uh, on my on my other account um, and just basically my other account on another site sorry yeah just making sure the clear light chest there yeah um, on another site and basically I might be coming back in two weeks time and hopefully filling filling you in on the good the bad and the ugly of the over the board tournament so chest gym out bye for now